Right guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 11, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Prix News Channel. All right guys, so we have some breaking news updates. We have some huge information coming out. Very important stuff here and it says shortage fears spike as some Costco and Walmart stores run out of eggs. Let me show you a picture really quick guys. Now, I started noticing Walmart, right? Uh, some aisle department, especially the meat department, it's hard to find certain meats. And I see a whole bunch of like empty shelves like this right here. So never in our lives has this country run out of eggs. And they're calling it the eggflation. <laughs> uh, thanks to the irresponsible of uh, the you know who i'm not even gonna mention the names guys but uh guys the walmart i go to uh, i see empty shelves like this especially eggs department here's another picture actually no just a video let me play the video oh they sold out of eggs So, um, that's basically Walmart warehouse. That's like the very back is only for employees. Um, and this guy right here, he's saying we have no more eggs. All the eggs are gone. Uh, so that's some serious stuff there, guys. That's some serious stuff. Here's another picture. Please share the video if you can. Two weeks, still no eggs. It's been two weeks and no eggs at Costco in SoCal. But hey, Mr. Burns says everything is fine. Everything is great. There's nothing wrong in this uh, sleeping giant land. Everything is fine. Man, have you guys seen his nose from the side? Pinocchio is really jealous right now. Wow, even Costco is out of eggs. <laughs> All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in this plat, you know, what form. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. All right, give me a second here. So it says we are currently out of eggs. Sorry for the inconvenience, all right? Uh, but there was something I, in this one. Uh, due to supply, I can't see that word. Constraint, uh, limit for per customers on any eggs. Thanks, uh, thanks Smith Management. All right, so uh, you can only take a certain amount. You can't take a whole bunch. So this is like a hurricane season. What's really going on here? What's really going on here? All right, guys, let's start from up here. Most sleeping giant have watched their food expenses at grocery stores balance in recent years. The one item that likely shocked consumers the most is the skyrocketing price of dozens eggs. That is very true, guys. Very true. And guys, I made videos of it. Started complaining because I got young ones, right? And we eat eggs every morning for breakfast. I go there, uh, a dozen eggs. It's like 12. I mean, not 12. It's like seven bucks. It used to be 150 jumbo eggs, like the big ones, 150 to $2. And now it's like seven or eight bucks. Uh, so you have the, um, the FLU has discrim uh discriminated the sleeping giant egg laying hen population at commercial farms tens of millions of hens has been you know what to prevent one of the world flu uh outbreak on record from spreading so through efforts excuse me though efforts have failed at the v continues to decimate the sleeping giant eggs production Sending retail prices sky high.
you know, Mr. Burn is a curse. <laughs> He's a walking curse. That's that's what Mr. Burn is. He is a walking curse. Now people's gonna be like, that man, what happened to them birds? It it has nothing to do with Mr. Burns. Yeah, but what about the gas? Well, that's because of 2020 event. Uh no, that's because of the sanctions that was put on the bear by Mr. Burns and NATO members. All right, so it says here, readers have known about the dire egg situation for many quarters, but the evolving story is that people are now posting images of supermarkets across the country running out of eggs. Don't worry, hold on, wait a minute, what? Coastal Helmet Organic Eggs, 10.99? Yeah, what is this? California? Where is this? Ten ninety nine? That's gotta be a dozen eggs. My goodness. Again, I showed you the video. This manager is telling everyone that we out of eggs. <clears throat> Two weeks and still no eggs at Costco in SoCal. Wow, even Costco is out of eggs. No. Not only is an 18 pack of eggs $8, there's now these signals, uh, excuse me, there's now these signs all over the place. Costco can't even keep their eggs in stock past 8.30 a.m. We need to be talking about this more. I don't care what mr burn and his people say is getting worse not better but mr burn says that everything is fine even cardi b she's coming out and she's like whoever did this better fix it well you're the one who told your your fans to go for mr burns and now you know you guys are the one that helped mr burns get into that spotlight so I don't really want to panic, but uh, um, Costco is out of eggs and egg whites now too. Costco no eggs. Empty pallets. Empty shelves. Costco and Walmart were both out yesterday. And when they have them, there's a limit now. Hashtag egg shortage. My hashtag Costco in, uh, this is Washington, okay, was completely out of eggs on Saturday. We have uh, the hashtag Wilcox Farms here in Washington. I was told by the store the egg shortage is due to the FLU. Hmm. That's the issue with information. So what do we even believe anymore? All I, do kn all I do know is I eat eggs daily and the shelves are empty. Something is causing this shortage. I can understand gas or toilet paper, but come on, eggs before Easter too? <laughs> hey, don't worry, Mr. Burns says that everything's gonna be fine. It's another video. It's an egg shortage. There's another one. You know, Jesus said that there will be great famines and pestilence, and these are like the tip of it. And look, I tell people to prep. You know, you could get uh, chickens and stuff like that. You could just raise them in your backyard, depending what, you know, your county or city, whatever. But, uh, I mean, you don't need to buy eggs. Just get some chicken. Every morning, just go and collect some eggs. So, uh, I know the vegan people are happy. Oh, this is exciting news. That means that we all could go vegan. All right. Um, I remember one time my wife took me to... 
it was a burger place. They say burgers and stuff like that. But uh, it was a vegan thing, you know, and it was, I mean, it looked like cheeseburger. I'm like, man, this look really good. And when I took that first bite, I'm like, mm, I'm like, what in the world is this? <laughs> I'm like, this thing, what is this? It's vegan. I almost passed out. I'm like, this, this is not, no, no, this is a fake burger. All right. I was deceived. <laughs> so the search uh, trend, egg shortage has hit a new high. Yeah. So new news uh, stories uh, across the uh, web featuring egg shortage have also surged the highest since the last FLU outbreak in 2015. In 2020, toilet paper was in short supply. November, it's 2023, and it appears nationwide egg supplies are dwindling. And once again, look like eggs are the new toilet paper. So how long until many figure out that becoming your supplier of food and living as much as you can, uh, can off the grid can save you from the pain of shortages and inflation. Perhaps people will panic, search for where they uh, were to buy egg laying hens and start their own farm. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you can just do uh, your own thing. You don't need to rely on the gov 24 seven. So clearly the sleeping giant food supply chain continues to fracture. So uh, you could just grow your own food, your own tomato, your, I mean, your own stuff. That's how it was back in the days. It was, I mean, back in the 1700s, 1600s, they didn't have grocery stores or Pizza Hut and stuff like that. They didn't have baby formula. I mean, they did it on their own. Um, so, again, this is, uh, this is the tip of it. Now, Jesus said in, uh, in the book of the Gospel of Luke, and also in Matthew, that there will be great famines and pestilence and things to come. Nation against nations and kingdom against kingdom. Now, this does not mean it's the end of the world, guys. It's only eggs. But um, <clears throat> it is a sign that, um, you know, something big is going on. Even though Mr. Byrne tells us that everything is fine. Again. We have eyes, we see things, we know, I mean, we're not, we can't, again, we're not fools. We know what's going on, and according to scriptures, all this will come. Great pestilence, great famines, great earthquakes, great war, and that's what we are seeing right now. So again, guys, I will keep you updated on this one. Please share the video. For those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, PO Box number 2, 3432, U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34652. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.